Hey, uh, I'm Ben Hughes. Like most people here, I'm from Etsy. Um, you've probably heard of us. Uh, we have a really good design department. I'm not a part of that. I do security, if you can't tell by the hair. Um, like most people here, all I care about is dashboards and graphs. These are ours. I have no idea what any of them mean. Um, they're probably important, but I threw, like one of them is for Splunk, so that's probably cost. Um, <laughs> The one I do care about is mean time to pastebin, which is, should something happen, how long before our stuff appears on pastebin or similar sites which may be available in your area? Um, we want to get that number down, and this is talk is mostly about the things we've done to make that happen. Um, and I'd love to share those with you, because I want security to happen to operations and developers and all those good things, because we don't talk it about enough. So today is clearly the best day of your life, unless you're Ron Betsy, who's just had another great Ignite. <laughs> So we went full SSL uh, across everything. Hands up if you all have a website. Cool. Hands up if you use SSL on all of your website. Cool. Uh, you should all do that. Uh, it's really great. Um, or use TLS, actually, but that's acronyms. If, you, um, if any of you paid to come to this conference or are staying in a hotel or have bought a drink at a bar, you can afford an SSL certificate. If you cannot afford an SSL certificate, find me afterwards. I will give you money for an SSL certificate. Um, <laughs> If your argument is that uh, HTTPS is slow, you're wrong. Um, there's lots of technology like uh, TLS session tickets, keep alive, OCSP stapling. It's no longer a case that uh, it's slow even if you have a really cool snail. Um, go visit this website. It loads really quickly because TLS is actually fast now. Um, and this it lists all the ways and all the configurations you can do to make TLS fast. So please go and do that. Stop using HTTP. It's a bit rubbish. Spidey will fix that, but whatever, Google. Um, once you have uh, HTTPS everywhere, please stop disabling cert verification. I will go full Liam Neeson. I will track you down, and I will find you. It's two more characters in Ruby to verify it than to disable it. Stop doing it. There's no excuse. Um, if you use passwords on your website, do use passwords. They're really good. Then just use bcrypt. Like, if you're using MD5s or, or SHA-1, stop doing that. Um, because as you can see from this list of numbers, you can crack them really quickly. Shout out to NVIDIA or AMD. If you're using, oh, that doesn't fit, does it? Hat. If you've got a hat and that uses scrypt or PK blah, 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 too, then you're probably fine. If you're using something you made at home, stop using that. Just go and use bcrypt or that guy will come around. Uh, CSRF is where you can send money from a really terrible bank to you by just injecting this in your code. And with cookies, it will just go and transfer money to my account. So I hope your bank does that. So be aware of CSRF. Um, most modern uh, frameworks, such as uh, Django or Rails or Monolicious, which is the Perl one, which you should be using, um, can do this. In the framework, um, it adds uh, CSRF tokens, which can stop you doing this. Another great way is to use multi-factor authentication. Uh, don't buy secure ID, because you can take them apart and uh, solder bits on, and they're a bit rubbish. Um, but uh, we use Duo, we're a huge fan of them. They have a mobile app in case you have one of those new smartphone things. This is uh, an obviously real example of me SSHing into a server and it prompting me on my phone or sending me an SMS to verify that I'm me, which I am, and then logs me in, um, which is great for security unless you hand your phones out. Um, People are going to hack your website or try to make it easy for them to tell you. Either have an email address, which many websites have now, or um, a page where you can go and submit, uh, I found this thing, please uh, let me tell you about this thing to make your website more secure. Um, some people are in this just for the Hall of Fame so that they can have their name up in lights. Who would want to get on stage and have something like that? I know it sounds ridiculous. Um, not everyone is in it for the fame. Some people are in it for the money. So there are uh, bug bounty programs, Google, Facebook, uh, GitHub, all have, and we do. We've had a really good one for a year and a half where you can get real money for finding real bugs. Um, and, and that's good. That encourages people to tell you about bugs rather than um, selling them on the black market. When you launch a bug bounty program, this will happen. Uh, Bison will run through your office with bugs, and you will have no security team for two weeks. So you can kind of limit that and do it to smaller groups and companies you can pay money to to do that for you. Uh, but it will be kind of hectic for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Here's a dog with amazing ears. Um, probably my most important slide. Um, come talk to me about security. Please do some security. 
don't really buy some security, just do some security. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs>